Ophelia stars Daisy Ridley and is based on the play of the same name by William Shakespeare, the character from the same name from William Shakespeare's Hamlet, based on a novel by Lisa Klein. And the story of Ophelia is, as a rebellious and motherless child, Ophelia is taken into Elsinore Castle by Queen Gertrude as one of her most trusted ladies in waiting. Soon enough, Ophelia captures the affections of the young Prince Hamlet. A passionate romance secretly kindles between the two as the kingdom is on the brink of war, amidst his own political intrigue and betrayal. When Hamlet's father is murdered and the prince begins to unravel, Ophelia sharply navigates the rules of power in Denmark. Ophelia was okay. It was okay, it's not great, nothing special, but it was tolerable. The biggest problem, or positive, I should say, is the, the acting. The acting is good from everybody in this movie. Naomi Watts, Clive Owen, underrated actor, um, Tom Felton, Daisy Ridley, she's good, great is in the movie. The music and the historical costumes and production design is really great. I love that. So, the acting is good, and I do like the directing and the music, and the music is great. Stephen Price does a great job. He's an Oscar-winning composer, and he did amazing for the music. The way this movie is shot is great. The big problem I do have with Ophelia, though, is the script. The script is kind of non-existent. It's flawed, but it's intriguing at best. I do say the script could have been a lot better. I don't know what happened in between writing this movie, but it, some of the dialogue is a little stiff. But the actors made this script work. But it's not the weakest script I ever. I've seen, I've let worse scripts been brought to life. Hellboy and Venom. But I'll give you credit where credit is due. They were, try, they were trying to go for something a little different here with this adaptation of the Ophelia story. And this is Shakespeare, so you do have this Shakespeare dialogue. And the movie does become a little boring at only an hour and 47 minutes. It becomes a little slow. It becomes a little lengthy to get through. Not too lengthy, but sign. And there are parts in the movie where I almost fell asleep, but you do have a good enough romance that can work. But you it could if the use of a better screenplay it would have worked very really well. But I will agree that there are some parts here that is kind of boring. So I will say the movie is kind of kind of a little boring in some parts and it doesn't really get interesting in be until you get to the point where the price begin the price is, is meant to be paid for the consequences of the actions and Ophelia navigating her the power rules of power that's why I really think the movie does shine but all in all it's a good enough scene, it's a good enough movie to watch, but if you're not a fan of Daisy Ridley, this movie ain't gonna be for you. If you're not a fan of Shakespeare, this ain't gonna be for you. It's watchable, it's harmless, but it could have been a little bit better. But it's not a bad movie.
I can tolerate it. It's not like this movie killed me. So I will go ahead and give Ophelia a highly recommend it. Let me know what you guys think about this movie down below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys keep it cool and join the epitaph.